my name is Shauna Bernard, and I'd like to welcome you to our next episode of GTTV. Uh, today, I'm going to be doing this little Portuguese water going in lion trim. She actually is a show dog, but her owner's not going to be showing her for about five months, so we're going to do her in a modified haircut. All we're going to do in the morning here is we're just going to run a quick, uh, this is our double-sided dematting brush. She's not really matted, but she's a bit thick and wooly. So I'm just gonna run this through, break up anything that's going on on her, and we're gonna just start with simply a really good bath. Then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna give you some tips on how to put the lion trim on, the placement, and hopefully you guys will get some great tips. Back with my girl, Whiskey. Uh, one thing about Whiskey is that she's a, a, definitely a wavy coat. These guys come in three different types of hair. A wavy, which she is, the curly, which is more like a poodle, and a hair that's in the middle. So when they have wavy, you definitely want to choose the lion trim for this. Plus, it is the kind of official haircut that they had. The reason they kept them in the lion trim is because the Portuguese water dog is actually a diving dog. So they were used in Portugal to dive into the water, retrieve the nets for the fishermen and bring them back up. So the reason why they shaved their behinds off was actually so they weren't so heavy in the water. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to... Uh, find the line, where to find the line. I usually use it on a nine on my wall Rivera. And if you go in and you feel the last rib, one finger behind the last rib and you're gonna be on the safe side. Uh, when you guys are making mistakes is when you're going halfway through the rib cage. So you definitely, it's only the hind end. And go on the action and you're gonna go with the hair. On a poodle you go again, so on these guys we go with the hair. And I just take it off. Uh, you want to pull the skin a little bit tight. See, I'm just taking it off fairly quickly the first time. And then I'm going to back brush it up a couple times and take it off till it's nice and smooth. And you want to get the inside as well as the, the outside of the legs all the way down to the foot. When I start getting closer in here, I just kind of go with the hair down. If you go against the hair, it's way too much of a You definitely want these guys to remain the integrity of this breed. Quick pro tip, if you just push the flank out here, it's a lot safer for you. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna shave this up and I'll come back and give you some more pointers. You can see we took a great amount of hair off in just a couple of minutes. Another thing that's really important about the Portuguese water dog is their tail. Uh, they have, we leave about one third on the end of the tail. And the reason that is, is when they were diving into the water to retrieve the nets, the fishermen could identify where the animal was. So it's very important to keep the integrity of the breed. So we're just gonna take that off. As, but this is definitely key for the Portuguese water dog. And these are the little details that make the difference. Remember, this is a commercial haircut. If it was a show dog, we would just leave this fairly natural. We'd cut in the line and just trim around the edges touch up her front end a little bit into the face. But because she's a commercial dog, she does a lot of dock diving and uh, Portuguese water dog sports. So we are gonna just take her in a commercial haircut. I'm gonna use this blue attachment and I'm gonna attach it to my Wal Berbera. I'm gonna put it on a number 40 blade. Now make sure before you do this that they're properly bathed out and there's no mats or anything left. In. And I'm just gonna just take it directly off. This sets a really, really nice length. It's super easy for them to maintain. I'm gonna run this off the side. I don't super hard. I like to keep a little bit more length. It's just kind of a fooler, but it makes it look longer than it is and a little bit more traditional to the lion trim. So we're just gonna go ahead and take all this off and I'm also gonna take off the leg with that. Now remember, this is a commercial hair. You can see that it's still leaving lots of hair on. So she still looks like a Portuguese water dog. So you're gonna do this three times, and then I want to scissor her up a little bit. You can see how much hair we've taken off in just a couple of minutes. I'm on my last way around. Uh, these attachments are really gonna be helpful for you guys. So then we just back brush it back up one more time, and we're just gonna shave it off one more time. Make sure you got your attachment on. And after you got that done, really, basically all you have to do is touch up the edges of it. So I'm gonna go back and just finish shaving this off quickly. 
and I'll come back and I'll give you a double on the front foot and I'll show you how to do the head. We have all our clipper work done and we just need to do a little bit of uh, scissoring on her. I really like these chunkers a lot on Portuguese. They're a little bit more natural. They uh, do a great job on them. So right where you've created your line on the rib, I'm just gonna run these straight up. Now make sure you don't look like a poodle. It's not a continental. This is Portuguese. It's very, very important that you guys know the difference. See how nice of a line that creates? And then I'm just going to keep that down and I'm just gonna neaten this up. Okay, and then I'm just gonna take that around. And then the other part that I need to finish off is the bevel on her front foot. So we've got the nails done, we've got the pads done, and we're just gonna comb that straight down to the edge. Make sure you make sure you had a little mat in there, we got it going. And then we're gonna take our curved scissors, and we're gonna just clear the bottom of the you're not going into the top of the foot. This is super important, you're just clearing the bottom. Put the weight back down on the ground, and you're gonna comb it in all of the directions. You've already created a line underneath. So you're just gonna continue the line on your bevel. And when you are working on these bevels, you always wanna work from underneath up, okay? and be very careful not to expose your toenails. It takes practice, really. I feel like you guys get so frustrated with it. If you start to follow these rules, you're gonna do a great job. I'm gonna finish this up and I'm gonna show you a few tricks on the face. Yes, I see you guys making a lot in Portuguese is growing their ears out really long. Unless it's a personal preference of the owner, Portuguese are meant to have a short ear and it should be quite tight to the face. Uh, the other is just growing the faces out really long. You should have a very short muzzle. So I'm gonna use the blue attachment again and I'm not pushing really hard. I'm just sort of skimming it. I'm tipping her head over and I'm just kind of skimming it. So just be sure I'm not pushing really, really hard. I'm just skimming off some of those ends on the top. However, I am gonna push hard on the ear. I'm gonna take that ear right off like that. I'm gonna do the same on this side. And I'm gonna go under here and take that off as well. And I wanna leave a little bit of hair so that I can scissor it. And then on her muzzle, I'm actually going to use a number two attachment. And again, I don't push really, really hard. I sort of just shave that face off, but they are meant to have a broad muzzle and you want to expose it. But that doesn't mean you want to shave it with a 10 blade. It's not a poodle, it's a Portuguese, super important. So I'm just going to take that with the hair on the muzzle. I really like the number, two. I go back and I scissor it after, but I really like the length that it sets on the 40. I think that uh, it leaves it fairly natural and it takes off a heck of a lot of hair in a short amount of time. And I definitely always go back and re-scissor it after, but I really like the length as you leave the face. I'm gonna get this all finished up here and I'm gonna show you a few finishing tricks. Okay, it's all bulked out now and pay attention here. We've left quite a long amount of hair over the eyes, like a little visor. Super important, you're not supposed to expose the eyes. They, they definitely want to keep the breed characteristics of a Portuguese and not a poodle. And then I, I like to just use these little uh, chunkers right in front of her eyes. It keeps it very natural looking and less poodle looking. So you do want to just clear those corners of her eyes. And then I'm going to over direct the bang line and I sort of tip the head down just a little. And I definitely like using chunkers on this particular part. And then just make a V. But make sure you do it well over the eyes. You don't want to expose the eye. Some, if someone wants the eye exposed, that's perfectly fine. But just for breed profiles purposes, you want to keep it over the eye a little bit. Okay, and I'm just gonna go around and finish sure that in a bit. And another quick tip too, you don't want to shave this right back into here. There's a little bit of fullness over the cheek. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this base off and then I'm gonna come back and give you a quick overview. This is your commercial Portuguese water dog on a wavy 
lion trim. I hope you guys got some really great tips. If you guys are enjoying this, please like, share, and subscribe. Please tell your friends about it. And if you guys have any requests, please let me know. Thank you guys.